Hey guys, welcome to Guns and Guitars. And today what I'm going to do is um, just show you a little bit of a, a different kind of a video because um, I upgraded to Windows 10, which I actually do like so far. Um, it seems faster and um, it's pretty easy to use. And um, I was up, I had kept um, Windows 7 on my computer, but um, when I upgraded, I had trouble with my printer, and that's what the purpose of this video is. And it's actually a pretty simple fix. And um, what you do is go down to the icon in the lower left of the screen, click on that, and then you'll see settings. You want to click on that. Then go to devices, Bluetooth, printers, mouse, etc. Click on that. And then um, your printer should be on there. If not, you can just click up here on add a printer or scanner. And then. Um, there's a place on there for you once a if it can't find your printer it'll bring up a window um, by clicking this part here the printer that I want isn't listed once you click that it'll give you another window where you can just search by manufacturer's name but we're not going to do that I already have mine on here which is an HP LaserJet 6P a real old one but it works perfectly and I absolutely love it anyway in order to make the software work with the computer what you need to do is come down here and you'll see related settings, devices and printers, device manager. You want to go to devices and printers. And then that'll bring up a, a window with uh, icons of the, the various hardware devices that are attached to your, your computer. And then you want to go to your printer and right click your mouse. And then go to printer properties. And then go to advanced. And then probably what you'll have is um, one of these up here marked in or something along that line. But what you want to have is print directly to the printer. So you would just um, click on that circle there to, to fill that in. And then apply will be open. And you just t um, click on apply. And then just um, it'll put that setting on for your printer and then your printer should work perfectly after that so it's really no big deal at all it just took me a couple days and looking on YouTube at some old Windows 7 um, videos in order to, to get the right answer on this so I hope this helps and um, again try Windows 10 it's it's actually a pretty good program I like it 